Hi again everyone. This is going to be a video on the change of base formula for logs. By the way, um, if you want to watch my proof on this, I'm not going to prove this in this video. I already proved it in my last video, so you can watch that to understand where this kind of comes from. Okay, so, and I also talked about it, what this means. It means that if you have a base that you can't really, but I don't know, send it. You can't, because if you would write this in exponential form, this would look like that. Well, 3 to what power is 17? Well, you can't do that in your head, right? So, what this formula creates is, it gives you the option of changing this base to whatever you want. Okay? And since your calculator has a log base 10, just log, you can change it to a base 10. So you can take this thing, log base 10 of the first number, the x, this number, divided by log base 10, I know it's very messy, but I'll explain further on, of the base of the 3. And you can evaluate this in your calculator and get the answer. So that's what this thing really says, you know. Um, and that's why I'm providing examples to work out. Okay, let's look at our first one. So this one is log base 5 of 25. Now, my question to you is, do we need to change the base? Do we need to use this formula to do this problem? Now, we could, but I think um, it's, not re but it's not necessary because, let's think about this. So there should be a Y here. The question here is 5 to what power equals 25? So 5 to what power equals 25? Well, it's just a 2, right? So y equals a 2. That's our answer. And we didn't need to change any base. So there are problems like, the, like this where you have to think. That's all. Um, okay, next example. Now I'm going to do log base 7. 68. Okay, now do we need to change the base? Well, let, let's see. If we change this to exponential, we get 7y equals 68. Well, yeah, I can't do this, do this in my head. It's, you know, it's way intimidating. Okay, so what do we do? Well, this is where this little formula comes in. It says that we pick a base. So log divided, no. What base would you be more comfortable with? Well, I think if you are in a rush or if you have a calculator nearby, the best thing to do is a base 10. I just don't, we don't write the 10 if it's a common log. Base 10 of the first number, 60 of what you are logging, and log base 10 of your base of the log, of this ugly log. Okay, and I don't know where that is, I'm going to quickly do it, log 68 divided by log 7, I'm getting it to be 2.1, so this is not, this is approximately 2.1684, okay, so that's what it approximately is. Okay, um, yeah, I hope that's what I, yeah, so that's that example. Next example, um, I'll do one more like this, and then I'm going to move on to something a little different. Log base, um, I don't know, one half of 6 over 7. I don't know. I'm really making up numbers. Okay, so y you can also see that this can't, can't be done mentally, right? 1 half to what? It's equal to 6 over 7. I mean, come on. Okay. So, what do we do? We apply the formula. We say, well, we'll take... Let's do the natural log. You can do natural log also. You don't have to take the log base 10. You can do natural log 
because the natural log is just log base e and you have a natural log button on your calculator so it does it for you so let's take the natural log this time let's take the natural log of the first thing and the natural log of the second part and if we do that I am my calculator is being weird divided by the natural log of one half I get 0 0.22234 yeah this should be a 4, I'm going to round this to a 4 ok this is approximately ok so that's how you really do it, now let's do something different what if I give you thing is what if I give you this um log base for one twenty five minus log base five twenty five no yeah I can whatever well let's see we know that just leave it here. We we you may be thinking well these this is a subtraction so you can put it as under as a quotient right um, as a ratio. Uh, no, you can't. Why? Because you have different bases. If you have different bases, this rule does not apply. So what do you do? Well, let's see what we can do. Well, we know this one, right? Let's look at our pieces. We know this is log base five. 25, 5 squared equals 25, so this is a 2. What is this? Well, this is where we have to use the formula. We would take, let's take just the log base 10 of the first piece, divided by the log of the 4. Okay? And I think I got this here. No log, I'm sorry, log 125 divided by log 4. Yeah, um, this is 3.482829. Okay, so approximately that. Minus 2. Well, now all you gotta do is from this take away 2 and you get 1.4829. Blah, blah, blah. But, well, I'm just rounding it up. And this should be an approximation because you don't know the exact value. The decimal goes on and on. So that's how you apply this change of base formula. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.